Hypersensitivity is an immune reaction controlled by humoral immunity and is therefore antigen-antibody dependent. This reaction produces an overreactive response to an antigen or foreign substance. In relation to blood transfusions, this reaction occurs when antibodies we naturally carry in our blood come into contact with the antigens on the foreign blood, causing a series of events to occur. Ultimately, hemolysis of the red blood cells infused into the bloodstream. An analogy for this reaction is to imagine the body as in a light nightclub where only type O blood cells or people 21 and over can hang out. When blood cells or people try and enter the club, the doormen check their ID or antigens. In the case of blood transfusions, type A blood cells, or people under the age of 21, try to enter the club. The doorman recognizes that they are foreign and not 21 by their type A antigens or ID. The bouncers, or antibodies, grab on to their antigens and form an antigen-antibody complex. This is a process called agglutination. The nightclub and other bouncers, or the body's immune system, are thus alerted. Here we see a healthy normal blood vessel containing type O blood. The patient of this blood vessel requires a blood transfusion due to severe trauma and blood loss. A mistake is made and incompatible type A blood is transfused. The type A blood cells enter the blood vessel and are recognized as foreign. When the antibodies IgM and IgG of the body's immune system come into contact with the antigens on the foreign blood cells, they attach. This forms an antigen-antibody complex through the process of agglutination, the clumping together of the foreign blood cells. This activates the complement response involving the complement proteins C6 to C9. Via a cascade effect, complement proteins C6 through C9 attach to the foreign blood cell membrane, forming the MAC attack. This leads to the creation of a pore-like hole or canal which allows sodium and water to flow into the cell. The excess fluid in the cell leads to lysis, or ultimately death of the cell. As the red blood cells die, hemoglobin is released. Renal failure due to excessive hemoglobin which damages the kidneys. Anemia due to a decrease in oxygen carrying red blood cells. Ischemia due to the clotting of blood cells which forms obstructions in the vessels, cutting off blood flow and oxygen from reaching the vital organs or tissues. And finally, death. <laughs>